let's learn about a new chapter that is called divisions of india so how is india physically on a map geographically divided from other countries other mountains across the india so let's first see what are the physical borders of india the physical borders of india on all sides so they are mighty mountains of himalayas and fertile plains of north india so on the northern side we have himalayas and from the plateaus of deccan so we have deccan plateau in the south and then eastern and western coastal plains we have on the eastern and western side and we have dry desert of rajasthan on the north and then on the northeast we have west wet hills of arunachal pradesh so these geographers usually divide india into six major physical divisions they are great northern mountains northern plains peninsular plateau great indian desert coastal plains as well as the islands now let's study in detail about these six physical divisions so first is the great northern mountains so these great northern mountains consists of the trans himalayan ranges as well as the himalayan ranges so first let's understand about the trans himalayan ranges these trans himalayan ranges are nothing but a series of towering mountain chains so they are like a big big long towers they origin from the pamir knot when i say pamir knot what does it mean so pamir is nothing but a plateau which is known as the roof of the world this lies in the north of the himalayas and there is something called karakoram this is the northernmost mountain range of india and the highest peak of this mountain range is known as mount k2 or godwin austin and this region lies in the pakistan occupied kashmir there is also ladakh and jaskar ranges which run across the jammu and kashmir from the northwest to the southeast so in this image we see the karakora mountain range and the godwin austin mountains so these are the northern side physical ranges of india and this is also the jaskar range of the jammu and kashmir region the himalayan ranges they are divided into three parallel ranges the northern most is known as greater himalaya or himatri and then middle himalaya or himachal as well as the shivalik range let let's study about the himatri it is northern most range of the himalayas and the altitude is 6000 meters this is the highest peak of the world and some of them are everest kanchenjunga makalu daulagiri nanga parbat annapurna and nanda devi these are some of the highest peaks of the world out of this the mount everest is the highest peak of the world in located in nepal and kanchenjunga is the highest peak in india this is the image of mount everest mountains these are mount everest is the highest peak and it is located in nepal next is himachal which is also known as middle himalaya this lies south of the himadri and some of the famous hill stations situated in this area are shimla kullu manali masuri nainital and darjeeling in this image you see the shimla hill station next is shivalik this is the southern most range also known as outer himalaya it is made up of unconsol unconsolidated loose deposits because they are flat valleys between the himachal and shivalik ranges known as dunes for example we have dehradun we have patli dun etc so this is the dehradun situated in the shivalik region 